Hey guys, Brad Yader here. I just wanted to talk to you about how to run direct marketing like you're running your own business. So, decided to get into direct marketing, multi-level marketing, MLM, whatever you want to call it. And now what? Well, when you first start off, you're going to be making the phone calls all yourself taking care of all the leads um, pretty soon someone's gonna talk to you about doing your own website you get into doing your own website someone's gonna talk to you about online marketing and if you've never online marketed before now you gotta learn SEO optimization how to do backlinks and the list goes on and on and pretty soon it's daunting but once again you want to run it as your own business and I see too many times where people will try to take in all these tasks as a business owner myself I can't. I mean, I, I will not take on everything. So if I have a service industry, I cannot possibly go out there every day and work and then also then come back and do all the billing and invoicing. And then if I have employees also and try to manage them because there's only 24 hours in the day. So what you have to be able to do is outsource. And with uh, these direct selling and in this market here, outsourcing is very available. So if you're not good at writing, if people start hearing the word, hey, write a blog, and that's how you get people to find you online, and you don't like to write, go to elance.com. If you are worried about search engine optimization or how do people find you online, if you're making videos, go to Fervor and have people on there, um, dot com, sorry, and have people on there do that work for you, and it's five bucks, and they can help you with the backlinks and writing and all that kind of fun stuff too. So there's a number of different things you can do to outsource yourself. Um, you can go get a virtual assistant and have them start taking your phone calls if it becomes too much for you. Um, Google has a phone line that uh, will go directly and uh, goes directly to your phone, uh, but you don't have to give out your phone number if you're using Craigslist or something like that for a job opportunity. So there's a number of things that you can do to outsource your world, but that's really what's important is that you're not trying to take all the tasks on but just focus on what you're good at. And what are you good at? Well, that's up to you to decide. Um, there's a good chance if you decided to get in this business, you're probably a people person. And if you're a people person, then that's what you need to be doing is connecting and networking with people and seeing if they have an op seeing if you have an opportunity for them that's better than what they're currently doing with themselves. With the, with themselves. So, um, I hope this helps. If you like this type of training, um, a buddy of mine, Mike Dillard, has did a video um, and it's free. It takes about 60 minutes to watch, so click on the link below, and I appreciate you guys' time. Take care. Bye.